I accidentally created a $26 million sneaker brand. <laughs> Be unrealistic. Be unrealistic. Hello? Oh, no! No! Set yourself unrealistic challenges, make unrealistic bets, do it again and again, and date unrealistic people. I didn't date you, Lipa. When you actually put yourself in situations where you can be <laughs> unrealistic, great things can happen. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? Five years ago, I sat with a bunch of my friends after a shoot. The cameras are off, but by some sheer miracle, JJ picked up something crazy. There's yeah. a line. Yeah, there is. 28th of September, 2018. Yeah. yeah. Find a designer. Yeah, here, here, here. here. No, this is it. Um, I want to make shoes. I think I want to make shoes. Same sort of. <laughs> no way! This right here is a what? Some drawings I made right at the beginning when I was coming up with the idea for No Two Ways. Now it's been four years. The team has grown like mad. We've got thousands of samples, and I have some crazy news. Why? Why do you have that? Just you just got a recording of a random conversation? Like what? No Two Ways. Now in this moment is worth twenty six million dollars. Honestly, I don't know how. We that's crazy, bro. That's insane. I've got here, maybe it's the fact that I now upload every three months, but it honestly baffles me to say it out loud. And I do also, look, I haven't forgotten. The only reason why I'm here today is because of you lot. Literally you watching this video right now. I don't know how I'll repay you. Maybe one day, all four million of us will go to a pub. Yeah, we'll do that. But also I cannot forget about one company that has been by my side the entire time, and that is Shopify. No two ways is you Shopify Come on. literally from day one. And now in some sort of crazy full circle moment, they're sponsoring today's video in hopes that the story that I'm about to tell you inspires you to go and bring some of your ideas to life. More about Shopify later. The idea to make this video came because I was looking at old photos recently. And I came across this folder right here. And I remember thinking to myself, you are such an idiot. Like, why have I not shown any of this process to you lot well guess what you're about to get showed because we literally film everything just in the hopes that one day we get big enough and someone like netflix comes along hi netflix how you doing anyway this is this that's crazy like in my head if they never said that and i was just watching this i'd be like wow they like they had to like fake all of this b-roll like in order to get these shots like how does this work but that's crazy like it's, it's wild they've just been documenting and saving they only kanye west shit for real story of how we went from a wild idea to one of our most innovative releases yet the foams operation foams every pair of kicks that we have ever designed has gone through the same five step pro that's the most innovative one the kanye shoe really uh. process step one the idea. So I assembled the team, slapped a pair of Crocs down on the table, and then asked, There was any scope for making fun. But we are not releasing a shoe with this toe shape. Like, <laughs> How long do you need? 24 hours. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you a week. I'll give you a week. Let's get it right. Steps were being made. Great. Next up, initial designs. After a week of Rocky working away, the designs were on the board, apart from this one. And boy, was I excited. I'm excited. So we all gathered around, and I gave my first piece of very important feedback. Back. They all look like really expensive. Uh, probably can't get. Luckily, Rocky was there to uh, ask the real question. How do we turn Crocs or this kind of foam slipper slide on shoe into something fashionable, right? It's like, what can we do that reflects no two ways design language? And after about 20 minutes of chat, we. There's no way they picked up a croc first. The shoe literally almost looks just like the Yeezy. The Yeezy foam, like they didn't just pick that up and say, how do we make that? There's no way they modeled that after a croc. Picked our favorites. Like, what? Hey, so why don't we link up in like four or five hours and then go through the next stage? I have a better idea already. He really did. Less than five hours later and he'd already developed some of our favorites. Some uh, development sketches basically with our meeting earlier. Yeah, let me just put it all out here for you. Boy, did he cook. This version had teeth. A <laughs> crocodile. There were sliders. Actually not bad. And he even turned our first ever release into some sort of contraption. That is so funny. <laughs> we then chatted through each design to work out which one looked the best, but was also functional. These oh, that shit's hard. To are sick. But there's a seam, right? There's always a seam in these. So like, where does the seam go? Seam. Yeah, and all the like previous designs that I've seen, the seam is not really thought about. So all it is is like, you just have a straight line. The seam is obviously where the molds open and then that seam line remains. We could do something mad. 
and like make the seam line like part of the actual design of the shoe. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can ask. Let me see. Hopefully, we actually get to use this footage. That would be crazy. Fucking sick footage. We do. And now it's time to get physical, physical prototypes, like stuff that I can. I do get a hit of dopamine every time. Dopamine. Dop dopamine. Dopamine. <laughs> Yo, that is sick. While I was excited, I decided to do what I do best, make problems. Looks like a cross, kind of. Moving away with the shot. This has to sit higher, so you make it thicker, super slippery. And then I left. Just kidding. We chatted about the logos, the overall shape of the shoe, and our big old slippery bottoms. No, but honestly, it's such a privilege to be on this journey with someone so talented. Shout out to you, Rocky. Probably one of the crop no two ways, so who that is, but... Okay, I'm going to utilise time travel again to about three weeks later, where we sat down to finally hold... Oh, the 3D prints of this future banger. steps further, man. This right here is an important moment, and we didn't even know it at the time. What about a sock? What do you mean? Like, if we put some sort of sock in there. If you want the sock, I would argue that I'd want to be able to remove it, because I would never wear it with the sock. You want the trace? Yeah, you wouldn't want to wear them, like, straight out of the pool and put your foot in the sock. That's how I put it. Let's try it. If that's what you want, Michael, let's see what we can do. Step three has now been completed. Look at you lot. You're basically going to be able to make your own shoe company next week. But now for the really exciting part, the samples. But first, I've got a little surprise for you lot. A sneak peek. It's insane. Huh? It's insane. All Actually, the way over here. Insane. And this ain't even half of them, by the way. These are samples. We have 96 Damn. samples on the wall. Some of them will never see the light of day. Actually, most of them will never see the light of day. But let's go through it. What's your favorite? Take us to your favorite. Is that a one? <laughs> they made the ones? Do you remember these? The first ever design. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, I don't know if I want to show this, bro. Ignore the colors, right? Obviously, you got the strap at the back of the shoe, and I just shoved like a hundred of them on. This is why I never did that. This is what you did. I have a couple of favorites, right? All right, hit me. Personally, I love reverse syzygy, but I also love exuberance colorway and formula. Like, that's level. Oh, uh, yeah. But for the audience, I reckon they would appreciate this one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's so my three. three. No, this is insane, honestly. Like, the oh, idea. Hell no. What the fuck? They are so off. These is fire as fuck up here. These ones, and then he's like, there's like an orange one. Where the fuck were those at? These was up here, fire. And it, I think it's these that I was talking Exuberance about. Exuberance colorway and formula. Like, that's levels. Uh, yeah. These shits is hard. These shits is hard. This is like an ASIC. That shit is hard. Where's that purple one at? Before the audience, oh, hard. I reckon they would appreciate this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hell no. That shit looks so basic. There's my three. Yeah, this is insane. That's man. what all the fucking like, weirdos are wearing right now because they don't know how to fucking wear shoes. That shit is. Like the idea from just. I'll probably really look good with some straight legs, though. You know what I'm saying? Like some nice little jeans. This and the audience saw like four, four samples, you know, to now, two years later, and we're still here. The, the, the problem <laughs> is, yeah, I don't ever make videos on it because I'm like, oh, I, I don't know how much you guys are going to care about it. But we documented the process like so much at the beginning to get to this stage, like on Instagram, and then we made the video. It's a bit of a proud moment, like seeing them all on the wall, to be honest. It is kind of mad. But go on, That's let me tell you crazy. my absolute. Say, yeah, what's your favorite? I'm just going to do it. OG Calyx would 100% have picked this shoe. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was our first release? This was almost our first release. Not really, but like... It's, not, it's, it's pretty good, you know. It matches your fit as well. It does. I told you we've been cooking. Let me know in the comments if you saw any colorways you liked. This was actually all possible because of Shopify. That's legit. Like, this is obviously a event sponsored by Shopify, but none of this would have actually been possible without them and, and the website and actually having that place. I built the first website. I built yes. the first, like, five websites. Yeah, we sat down. Because they made it so easy. For five, six weeks, probably. And as Rocky 18 hour found, days. Yeah, <laughs> I have no desire back. <laughs> nothing. Bit. But I was able to do it, so uh, if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. If you're looking to start your own business or side hustle like I did, get on Shopify right now. It's got everything you'll ever need to sell online, in person, or on all major social platforms. And it's so easy that even at the start of our No Two Ways journey, it allowed us to go from first sale to full scale without any issues. Also, put your Shopify links in the comments. I'll be checking some of them out and making some purchases. Just on my way to uh, a shoot. That's lit. If you guys do have a Shopify, put that shit in the comments. That's fire. I'm not gonna buy that shit. Put that shit in Cal's shit. I'm, I'm charity. I'm, I'm broke as shit, nigga. Don't, don't ask me. Let me pull over. Let me pull over. No, I seen foam samples. Okay, okay. What's up? Yo, what do you guys think of these? They're not final. Grab 10 pounds. Can you have 10 pounds? Oh, wait, wait, I've got you something. I've got you something. Things don't give a shit about them. Dude. Sweet curry dip. We have some versions with socks on it. Yeah. As you said, as yeah. I promised. For some reason, the factory decided to paint yeah. the silicon. Yeah, so whoever did this needs to get fired. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I like the sock, but I don't know if I like the... Stitch room. Yeah. But then we tried another version that's like a... 
The sock sock. The sock sock one. The middle sock looks a bit crazy. This one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no. Nah. Balenciaga. This one does look better. But you want to keep the sock, right? You want to have a... Yeah, yeah. That yeah. does not hit yeah. for me. Or uh, should we just grab the sock? No, no, no. Keep going with it. Whilst we were driving, I thought so I'd keep ask going going the it. Come on. for some customer feedback. Excuse me, sir. What do you think of this shoe? We're doing market research. No, I'm not a fan. Not a fan? No. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make the cut. <laughs> 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 What do you think of this shoe? Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Would you wear it? Yeah. Where, where would you wear it? Uh, on my face. On my face. Oh, what bro? <laughs> on my face? The research is going wrong. Okay, today is a special day. There should be two special people waiting for me in here, which they are. This is time. Oh my god, they're so light. <laughs> Look how happy I am. This is me fully in my element. I pitched this idea a few months ago and now I'm holding a nearly final version. We just had a couple more things to sort out. So we're still a work in progress, but let me show you where we're at. So this was the first attempt. So look at this like an iron. <laughs> this one looks so much better. So yeah, that's the most recent looks one. Looks nice as shit. Even the insult design is not great. And this is gonna cost more than the phone itself. So really? Mm -hmm. Better be worth it, right? I fucking suck at this. <laughs> I didn't actually sack it off, but it did create a huge sizing issue for us for about two days and then Rocky fixed it. We need something in between that fits true to size. So you obviously have the foam, you have the insole that stays secure into it, and then this sits on top of that insole, so it's, you technically have two insoles. That is a fucking brilliant idea. Look at this, might be a big moment. We have created a shoe. You put this in and you can wear it as like a day-to-day -day kind of bit more secure. And then when you want something a bit more comfy, or you're on a plane or something, you can wear it a bit. So you can wear the shoe in three different ways. Let's open the 10 more for Carl. Get him an idea of the packaging. So the next time you'll see this, we'll present you the box with the correct insole, with the final phone, and you can like give us some final, final feedback. It's fucking genius. Yeah, no, it sounds like a plan. Love, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, 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 Callum, you're being sentimental right now. Oh, when it's what time. The fuck? Step five, the final versions. I did have to drop Rocky a little face Where is this? Guess I, what? Where is this? The where... Ah! I gotta kill it! I gotta kill it, please! <laughs> It's just everywhere! More problems. Although this one is kind of jokes. So, I love it, yeah? But I've got some butts. <laughs> so basically, I open it up and sometimes it makes this weird noise. But mm. There we go. Imagine oh. yeah, you open a pair of no two ways. And it... mm. Mm. Number one is that, but number two... It's That's like actually kind of crazy. Me. <laughs> when it's open. Mm. Is there a way where maybe instead it opens like this and it's like magnetic here? I know that Rich is going to kill us, but... Something funny I discovered though recently when I was testing mine because I was like bending and stuff and I got this like massive crease on the front and then I discovered that you can literally just grab a hairdryer go over the no creases way. and it disappears completely. No way. Fully, fully. What? That is mad. So you can just wear them forever. They're creaseless. <laughs> and now the part you've all been waiting for. That's kind of crazy. Final, final product. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. You open Bro, I know that's expensive. I know that shit's expensive. That's crazy. Just to get that specifically cut out for every shoe as well, that's gotta be, that's gotta cost so much on the back end, bro. Oh my God. And it's like, what is even going on? Now we got this beautiful, just look, seamless. That's cute. Final shoe. Yeah, it's so impressive. These now final. Now we got the little hand tag here. That's actually the graffiti on the bottom. It's the little thing. I almost hate that it's like pressed down in here. I don't really like that. I wish this went all the way up to the size of the box, but besides that, it's fire. Now we got the little hand tag here. That's actually the graffiti on the bottom. It's the little things, right? Can't really see it. It's subtle, yeah. but it's it's there. It's there. Look how much the No Two Ways logo pops it's on nice. the inside as well. That is sick. Oh, mate, I think up there with like maybe my favorite release yet. I'm not going to lie. This is innovation, you know? It is. This is the beauty of owning a small sneaker brand. We can do whatever we want. Like when should we release? And the price as well. I mean, but, packaging alone is an experience, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, what there ain't nobody what doing shoe that. under 100? You get all this stuff. These are the two labels I care about, though. I know you like yeah, 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 yeah. For me, it's those two. These two labels here basically mean that, that we are doing a wonderful job when it comes to sustainability, and we've been doing it since day one. There is legitimately nobody doing it like us. Who's doing it? Oh, man. Well done.
We smashed it. Remember right, Tom's. Gonna be I don't know if you guys know about this Tom's, right here but was a journey of the phone. Tom's is definitely the story's doing not quite over yet. As we wanted to do a little dreaming with you guys. What is it next for the future? Flagship store has to come in oh, yeah. the next 365 like days. Dreams, dreams. Legitimately, just got a text about getting in Selfridges and three other stores. Damn! Come on, that Cal. Be, that's funny. That one that that's funny. I want to have that text right now. I'm not even lying. There you it's go. It's like huge, on, dude. But even making some of these samples a reality, you know, and the audience relating to them. That's what up, Shadow? What up, Lock? Awesome, yeah, I'll check it out tomorrow, okay? Now, but, Not today. Yeah, just getting started, you know. And there we have it. A whole design process done. The foams went on sale a month ago, but just for you guys, I've brought back 100 pairs. So click the link below and it will take you through to the Shopify Shop app. It's a new app which has all your favorite brands and makes it super easy for you to shop from your phone. So download the app for free and send me some pics of you in your new naughty ways. Shit, a hundred? Them shits are gone. Yeah, thanks for watching, Rocky. Thank you. Thank you, man. My day one. Thank you. Appreciate it. See ya. <laughs> mm, see ya. I wonder if they're gone. They gotta be gone, right? There's no way. Grow your. Oh god damn it. Oh thank god. I thought I was gonna have to do some weird shit. Okay. Not bad. I was thinking they were probably gonna be like ninety, but eighty-five is not bad at all. If he dropped like more shoes, so you could actually buy them, oh, it'd be fire. It'd be fire. Every time I wait. Can you actually buy them now? Holy shit. What are they made to order or something? What? Wait, what? Oh my God. Holy shit. Wait a second. I can get them. I can get them now. Wait, what is size 10 UK to US? US 10 is a nine. So that means like a, okay, so I need a, like 11, somewhere around like 11 -y. 11. All right, let's go there. Boom. Change this one to an 11. Oh yeah, I need that. <laughs> oh yeah, I need that, baby girl. <laughs> Thank you, Cal. Okay, we'll finish that later. Thank you. All right, where is this one? We've been here long. Let me, let's check out this one.